Hey everybody, welcome to another wild, wacky adventure with Chris. Uh, today we are going to be doing a walking tour of the Newport News Greek Festival, the spring version of the Newport News Greek Festival here at St. Constantine and Helene in Newport News, Virginia. So uh, join me. I hope you enjoy it. There's lots of amazing food and gifts and we'll do a tour of the church and we're gonna have a great time so stick around you're gonna love it hey everyone welcome it's another adventures wild wacky adventures with Chris and today you're probably wondering where are we at on this beautiful Friday May 31st the last day of May in the year 2024 and what are we doing at a Greek Orthodox Church. Well, let me tell you, it's very exciting. This only comes twice a year, in the spring and in the fall. And I am here at the spring version, which is the bigger, better version of the Greek festival. We are here at the Greek festival, which takes place at the, what is this church called? It's like the St. Constantine. <clears throat> Yeah, Saints Constantine and Helene. I guess it's named after two saints in the Orthodox Church. I've been doing a lot of research uh, on the Greek Orthodox Church lately because um, my stepbrother is Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox. And it's basically the same, Eastern Orthodox and Greek Orthodox, basically the same. It's just one of them, it's just Greek, you know, it's uh, it's it's most of the mass or whatever the the gathering they call it is done in Greek, and the head um, pastor here is Reverend George Chiros. So I'm glad I'm wearing my my um, chesty, my chesty GoPro mount, which is a little less obvious, so I can walk into the church and not feel as weird about filming in the church. I mean, I'm sure they don't mind. But I just feel self-conscious and weird. And I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. So, apparently they do tours here. So we're going to do a quiet little um, walkthrough here of the church and just kind of let you look around and take in all the sights. And we'll see what's happening. Allowed to walk up here? Yeah, please come okay. on. Okay. Welcome, welcome. I don't feel I'm worthy to walk all the way up here. <laughs> no, no, no one's worthy of Christ for anything, but you know. Yeah. First time in Orthodox Church? No. Um, I went to a funeral here. Okay. Like, God, 30 years ago almost. Oh, man. Um, and then also my stepbrother goes to the Greek Orthodox, uh, not the, the, the Eastern Orthodox Church on Todd's Lane. Oh, St. Basil's. Yes. Nice. Awesome. Yes. Very it goes nice. to that one. So um, I, I went to a service there before, and I assume it's pretty similar. They're exactly the same. Exactly the same. Uh, it's just this the, is Greek. Yes. It's, this was started by an ethically okay. Greek community. Yes. Okay. There, now, the different bishops and different priests, but still in communion, still same orthodoxy, right. if that right. makes sense. Different ministries. Mm -hmm. kind of it, it was fascinating. I was born and raised and am and, and currently a Roman Catholic, so okay. it was really 
interesting to see all the differences and all the similarities. Yes, there are some similarities. Well, people always ask, like, are you like the Catholics? Like, we look like them, but actually there's a lot of them. You know, I was looking, looking up some YouTube videos and people say, oh gosh, they're awfully similar, but they're really not. They're really not. <laughs> no. they're really not. And I, I remember the service, I, we had to keep standing up and doing the cross. Yeah. And you do the cross with the opposite way. Yeah. And you do it so many times. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think we maybe do it three or four times in, yeah. in our Mass. And you don't call it the Mass, you call it Divine Liturgy. Liturgy. Divine Liturgy. Yes. It's, it's, I've, I've always thought this church was beautiful. Um, <clears throat> I, I grew up with Greek friends in the community, okay. so, um, yeah. But I'll just yeah, yeah. look around. Yeah, look over, any questions? Sure, sure. <clears throat> Any other They have cooler looking bread than we do. Do you know what year this church was? So this physical building is uh, built in 1980s, 1981, 82. Really? And then the community in downtown Newport News was 1949. Okay, okay. Um, Are you Greek? Yes. Okay. I, I picked up a lot of Greek growing up with my Greek friends, but yeah. just mainly the bad words. Oh. I know, I know, Tikanis, Kala. Hey, oh, look at that! There you go. Yeah. Getting started. Yeah. Unfortunately, the kids always learn the bad words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, and I also did the ancestry, the twenty-three and Me ancestry, yeah. and I am twelve point nine percent Greek. Oh, we come thirteen. You know, you join us. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that what it, I need to be? Thir thirteen. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. We'll give you, we'll give you an upgrade. How yeah. About? This is for the uh, wedding ceremony, I guess. Yeah, wedding ceremonies, yes. Yeah, it's neat. And the baptismal font. So I was about to ask how you can put an adult in there, but I see now they do it mainly as children. Children, we can, for adult baptisms, you can do one of two things. You can bring it in an outside tub and use that water to be sanctified. Some churches have started investing in that. Actually, there's a church in Arizona I saw that has built in. They built a church building like a giant adult size one as well for adults, which is awesome. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Uh, some adults, because technically they've, this is some deep, like, orthodox theology, like <laughs> splitting hairs kind of a thing. But technically, in the last couple hundred years only, they'll say, like, well, if you were baptized uh, in a church that recognizes the Trinity, they would just do the, the chrism on you because just the uh, yeah yes because in orthodoxy right when we see the baptism of Christ when he sanctified the waters actually right he wasn't baptized for any since he had because obviously he sinless but he sanctified those waters he was baptized and the dove appearing right and God, and, and God the Father speaking this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased that's the that's the uh, the seal of the Holy Spirit so we imitate that both in the triple immersion of the child or the catechumen whoever is being baptized the baptizee triple immersion and then from there the seal of the Holy Chrism which is a seal of the Holy Spirit as well. And is that done with oil? It's a mix of myrrh. So it's an oil. It's a mix of myrrh, oil. It's a special combination. I don't know the full, like 40 different things in the mm -hmm. prism. <laughs> it's a whole thing. It's and fascinating. They, yeah, they make, it is. they make it at the Patriarchate every year. And it's, uh, it's something. Exactly, because I just got rebaptized again as an adult last year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, back on um, last June. So yeah. Oh, it smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I, I actually go to Walmart and they have all these crazy incense, dragon, money, oh, okay. but they also have uh, frankincense and myrrh. And those are always the ones I buy because it smells like church. <laughs> you want to buy the good stuff. I mean, it, you can even just go on Amazon and type in Orthodox incense, Mount Athos kind of thing. Like, yeah. You'll find stuff and it's amazing. Well, it drives my wife nuts. She's not that crazy about it, but whenever I clean the cat box, I light one. <laughs> and go. the whole house smells great. Exactly. I love it. Well, I wanted to tour the church first, and uh, I'm headed over to the festival now. And, and I understand they're only, they, they're not doing the first dancing show until like 5.30? Yeah. So late. But I guess because well, it's cause Friday. Kids, well, that and the kids are in school. That's true. Tomorrow, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, kids are in school. Tomorrow, they'll probably have a few different Yo, shows throughout the day. And let me pull up the schedule. 
So I'm the I, so I'm in charge of all the youth ministries here too, and like that's all under my watch. I don't do a very good job, but I'm trying. And 5:30 is the only one for today. That's when they start. It yeah. Goes 5:30 on. Five, well, how long? But how long does it last? I guess they get little breaks or in between. So this first show at fr- tonight, according to this schedule, it could always be on Greek time. Sure. Really late. Yeah. 5:45, 5:30, 6:30, 6:45, 7:30, and 8. And then okay, the shows start tomorrow at one o'clock. Okay. One thirty. Well, again, at five fifteen, it really picks up and goes on. I know it's it's tough. To I'm I'm tomorrow. I'm committed to the pirate festival. There so. you go. <laughs> Tell me about it, because that's what me and my coworker Nancy were talking about. Because um, Nancy always comes here every single year and stuff like that. And then she was talking about the Black Bear um, Festival too. Yeah, which yeah. I definitely you know want to go to. You know, Sunday after church. They're always. All right, thank you, Father. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, I don't know what happened there. It stopped recording. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's weird. The camera keeps shutting off. Hopefully, you got all that dialogue with the Father. weird. That's sort of irritating. I don't know why the camera's shutting off, but okay. Anyway, so back out to our beautiful day. Man, you could not ask for better better weather. 73 degrees right now. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And so like I was saying, the spring one is a little bigger. They utilize this, this tent, this huge tent that they have I think the fall one just takes place in the uh, the whatever that center is over there. But uh, I like it when they have the tent. It's just not as congested, not as crowded. People are all uh, more spaced out. They're spaced out, man. The food here is insanely good. Oh my God, I love Greek food, like everything. I've never had anything that was Greek that I didn't like. It's absolutely amazing. So this is day two, if I'm not mistaken. Well, officially day one. I think they opened up for drive through and some of the food yesterday, but I think this might be the official day. Now this Lukamades, are Greek honey puffs. They're absolutely amazing. They're like little puffed fried dough and they're dipped in honey. They're absolutely amazing. I wish they had some that I could show. There, there's some right there. Here's some, here's some with the, the honey on them. I just want to show America what they look like. Those are amazing. What do you, oh, you get ready to put the, the honey on, huh? Yes. Oh my God, look at that. For shizzle. Oh my God, those are so good. Yes. Now, Look at that. This is oh. the process. Wow. Drain it a little bit. And they always give you such good, generous portions here, too, so don't, don't yes. be shy. <laughs> that looks great. That looks great. I heard that um, the one in Offer, yeah. they charge them by the Luca Mike. What? So, what are they, like yeah. a quarter each or something? It's like a dollar or something. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Thank you for the tour. The name Shake and Bake. Shake and Bake. All right. We'll keep that in mind. Look for you, yourself on uh, the Facebook page. And they're, they're deep frying them there for you. Fried dough. I think every culture has its own version of fried dough. Yes, they do. So delicious. Thank you. People here are always so nice. Some people are like, get that camera out of my face. And they're like, come here, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> and here is their menu board. Oh man, let's go over the menu board. Oh my goodness. Here it is, Luca Mades, Greek honey puffs. Just, I'm just gonna let you look at all this stuff yourself. My, one of my absolute favorites is the moussaka, moussaka. Hearty casserole of eggplant and ground beef sirloin topped with bechamel cheese sauce 
served with yanni beans. I think if I get anything today, it's going to be that. Everything here is outstanding, though. Even their salad with authentic Greek dressing, feta, kalamata olives. Come on, are you kidding me? Let's take a look. Here's the... Uh, Domades. These are tender grape leaves filled with rice, herbs, and spices and garnished with lemon, feta cheese, and Kalamata olives. They love their olives in Greece. Oh man, look at this. Lamb shank, they have one lamb shank left. Grecian chicken with Yanni beans peel off and a roll. It's a, a bro broiled half of a Grecian chicken with butter, lemon sauce, and spices. Got the pilaf, which is the rice steamed with butter and spices. And these are the famous Yanni beans. These are Greek style beans blended with onions, tomatoes, and spices. Thank you. Pork souvlaki. That also comes with the Yanni beans pilaf and roll. These are tender chunks of marinated pork flavored with lemon and herbs. Moussaka. That's my favorite. That's my absolute favorite. A hearty casserole of eggplant and ground beef sirloin topped with bechamel cheese sauce. There it is. Huh? Hey, Sophus. I don't want to say game. Yeah. So I didn't even look up and see that it was you. Look, everybody. It's America's favorite Uncle Sophus. I'm doing a video tour of everything. I love it. Did you know I did the 23andMe test and I'm 12.9% Greek? I am Greek. Yeah. Now, you're, I'm not going to get in trouble. I'm 25% and I found out that way too. I'm not going to get in trouble for putting this on YouTube. You're not supposed to be at work right now or anything. You're going to be here. Thank you. Uh, hour and a half. Be here about five, 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 five. I I might still be here then. I don't know. I have a family cookout thing we're doing later, so we'll see. We'll see. Pa Pastizio with Yanni beans, a baked casserole, ground beef sirloin, and layers of macaroni topped with bechamel cheese sauce. Man. This GoPro camera is not doing this justice. And of course, you cannot go wrong with the gyro. The gyro pita. Some people say gyro. Some people say gyro. It's gyro. Big Greek. And the chicken pita. The Luca Nico pita. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Hey, that looks good. Luca Nito pita. Greek style homemade pork sausage with grilled peppers and onions served on pita bread. That's Uncle Sophus over there. <laughs> Recent fries. Hispanic Hopital. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Trip Tiro Pita. That looks exactly like that. I think those aren't these the same? No, this one has spinach, this one has just cheese. Oh, okay. Spinach and cheese and just cheese. Alright, alright. I'm just doing a tour of the food now. I'll come and get some later. Absolutely. Luca Mades. Yes. Oh man. Yeah. What is it, Father? Who? George, right? George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hi, Father George, right? Yes. Do you know uh, Flossie and Jimmy Caligas? Yes. Their son, Chris Caligas, I just is did his wedding. one of my best friends. Yes, with um, Jessica. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so um, he, he's probably going to come up here a little later today. They were here last night. Yes. Um, I just wanted to come and get a little video of the food and all the festivities help and everything. Yourself. So, yeah, it's great. I help, love it. Help yourself. Always come you every year. You might want to go inside. There's vendors inside and pastries. You want to do that. Too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And then they have the another line over here, the same, the same foods, just two different lines to make it easier, more convenient. And... Uh, do they have ouzo here and Greek beer yeah, right over there? Next, okay. Yes, yes, right, right. Look at that plate. Oh, man. I'm going to be talking over people's food. 
Everybody here is so friendly. Oh, they got the festival t-shirts. This is it, $20 each. Doing good. Uh, I'm just looking now. I'm doing a little, a quick little video tour. All right, and then they said, What's the Greek? Is this the Greek beer? It's all of it's Greek. All of it's Greek. Oh, all of it's Greek. Okay. Take a look at that. I've never had Greek beer before. We'll have to try one of those a little later. And then where's the Ouzo? Oh, they got it. They got it over there in the, in the, in the freezer. Fr in the freezer. Keeps it nice and cold like, um, like uh, what's that other stuff? What's the Italian stuff called? It's got it. You want to take a picture? Yeah, there it is. There it is right there. This is the official Uzo of the Newport News Greek Festival. Um, uh, what is that? What's this stuff that... Uh, there's grappa. You've heard of grappa? Have you ever heard of grappa? That's I'm another... Not a wine, I'm only not a wine guy, just a volunteer. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's all dry except for this. Sambuca. Sambuca. That's very similar to Sambuca. Yeah. And is this, this is Greek wine? It looks like at least this one is. Four of them are. That one's Greek. That's cool. Here's a little write up if you want to pause your television and read about the. No, this is from Italy. Okay, okay. The rest are Greek. Nice, nice. Thank you for showing me. All right, and then up here is the stage. There's nothing happening up here now, so we're not going to go over there. Oh, man, Baklava Sundays. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, oh. Got to see what's happening over here. So I guess it's just a regular Sunday with a few hunks of baklava shoved in there, right? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Is that what you want? No, no, I'm just doing a little video tour now. I'll oh, come nice. back a little later and eat. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. And I guess this is just sort of the prep area. They prep the food, they put it in, uh, portion, portion it out, and then they bring it over there. All right, let's go inside and see what's happening in there. You're probably asking yourself, what about the Greek desserts? Well, here they are. They usually have a Greek uh, uh, dessert menu board set up. I don't see one over here. But you can just walk the line, I guess, and take a look. This is probably the best, one of the best values. The Glicka variety pastry package includes two baklava, one Phoenicia, one Katafi, one Kurumblets, two Korlorakia, and one Florek. I don't know how to say this stuff. And here's everybody's favorite baklava. Of course, baklava is amazing. Everyone knows what that tastes like. Phoenicia is good. It's sort of a dry cookie, but yet it's dry, but at the same time it has moisture in it from the honey and the nuts and the cinnamon and butter. Filo pastry with nuts and honey, dipped with chocolate. Oh man, flog flog headis, flog headis, and custard filled filo, dipples, dipples, bow shaped pastry, honey dipped, sprinkled with walnuts and cinnamon. I've had all of these before. They're all really good. These are great here, and of course the the fresher. The fresher the better. If you can get them, take them home right away and eat them, or even eat them in the car on the way home. This is like a giant shredded wheat, shredded phyllo, almonds, and honey. And Coram Bietz, 
butter cookie with powdered sugar, the baklava cheesecake, which I just have a picture of. They probably keep that refrigerated. So that's five dollars. Yeah, delicious. Absolutely. Anyway, that's a just a look at their desserts that they have here. Now we're gonna go over into here. Hey, we're gonna wrap this tour up pretty quick, I think. Let me make sure we're still recording. Yep. Oh, and then they have some candy bars and what is that, soap? Yes. Soap, okay. Olive oil soap. Oh, ol ol olive oil soap. Okay, nice. Honey. Greek dolmas. Grape, grape leaves. Greek style egg lemon soup. Oh, boy. Pepperoncini. An authentic gyro bread. You can make your own gyros at home. That is a huge pack of this. And they even have Lomidis coffee. Greek style ground coffee. All right, now here's the good stuff if you're into shopping. See, during the, um, during the fall festival, the one that's a little smaller, they have the food all indoors. It's all running down here and you stand in this line right here and you wait on it. Definitely enjoy the springtime one better, but the fall's good too. And it's just a random jewelry selection, artwork done by uh, local artists. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Look at that, I like that octopus. Oh, it's a flag. That's cool, it's a garden flag, neat. And pillows. Yes, yes. I love this. 20 bucks for the crab pillow. Who doesn't need a crab pillow? And some uh, religious icons there for you. Tons of, of uh, fun costume jewelry, rings, soaps, pendants, earrings. More artwork. And the best part about it, everything here is Greek. And if it's not Greek, I can tell you how it once was Greek. And they got it from the Greeks. <laughs> There's some neat uh, artwork of uh, different Greek scenes. Love those icons. Wow, look at those over here. Let me, I got, I wasn't gonna go over here, but I gotta, excuse me. Look at these beautiful religious icons. And these are actually from Greece. Wow, these are cool. I dig them. This is the Our Lady of Perpetual Help, if I'm not mistaken. St. Michael the Archangel. I, no, actually, no. I don't know who that is. Mark Michael's, St. Michael's always on the demon. And that one looks like he's standing on Jesus. I don't know what. Maybe that's Lazarus. I'm not sure. Another Our Lady of Perpetual Help. That's one of the most popular ones. Lots and lots of jewelry. And then one of my favorite stands in here is the olive oils. I mean, this is like any kind of olive oil you can think of. They are all about the olive oil and the balsamic vinegar, flavored balsamic vinegar. I'll give you a, some of the different uh, producers there. And they have a little dishes set out for you to sample. There's some homemade soaps. The Greeks, just like the Italians, they love their vinegar and they love their olive oil. Good, good. Lako Nico, Lako Nico. One white balsamic. Two honey ginger and one cranberry cake. And they have little bits of bread that you can sample the different balsamic vinegar. Pretty neat. And the olive oil, of course. Authentic Greek olive oil. And you can get the special event only, La Conico Collector's Edition, two liter growlers, $95, filled and refills only $70.
There it is, right there. The growler. Lots of jewelry here, lots of jewelry. Hey, this looks like the guy that's up at uh, Bush Gardens. Are you the same guy that works at Bush Gardens? Yes, sir. Ah, I saw you there on Saturday. Yeah. I'll be there Monday. Okay, okay, yeah, that's, well, your work is amazing. Thank you, sir. Nino, that's Nino. Yeah, correct. Keeping that guy busy all the time. More jewelry. What else do we have here? Don't forget. Father's Day is coming up. Oh, they got beard care. Stuff for your beard, beard wash. The worst thing you want to do is wash your beard with shampoo. It'll dry it out, it's terrible. You want to get the special stuff that's made for your beard. And they got bath bombs for the ladies. And we're almost done here, guys. Uh, just more jewelry. I don't want to go too in depth with that just because, you know, Jewelry's jewelry. You gotta come down here and see it for yourself. They have men's jewelries, women's jewelries, costume jewelries, fancy jewelries, scarves, cashmere, made in Scotland. Nice. Uh, Scottish 100% cashmere scarves. That's pretty good for that price. $17.50 for 100% cashmere, or three for 45. <clears throat> and we'll just take a quick look over here. The food is, is probably my favorite part. Look at this beautiful box. Wow. $3.95. That is, that is beautiful right there. Wow. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now and go enjoy some delicious Greek food and socialize and, oh, these are fun. They got the, um, I don't forget what they call these, like they're like Russian dolls where if you open them up, they, there's a smaller one inside and there's a smaller one inside of that. Yeah, really cool stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this broadcast of the Greek Festival here in Newport News, Virginia, the annual twice a year um, Greek Festival that they have down here at the Greek Orthodox Church. It's the only one in Newport News, and that's going to be happening all weekend. Uh, it sort of technically it starts Thursday, but it, and, but it officially opens Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you get a chance to see this video before it happens, come on down and uh, sample some of the amazing food. Look through the gift shops. Um, do a tour of the church. It's fantastic. I love it. This has been another wild, wacky adventure with Chris. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe.